300 copy Communication stopping. We're preparing for landing. We should uh, see the horizon uh, momentarily. There's one of the Russian Mi-8 helicopters as we stand by for touchdown. Touchdown. Touchdown confirmed at 6.28 a.m. Central Time, 7.28 a.m. Eastern Time, 5.28 p.m. at the landing site. Mark Vandehei and Pyotr Dubrov back home one year after leaving the planet. Soyuz MS-19 under the command of Anton Shkaplerov back on Earth along with Mark Vandehei and uh, Pyotr Dubrov. A nominal entry, a perfect landing, a bullseye touchdown as the uh, Russian search and recovery forces in the Mi-8 helicopters uh, begin uh, the process of landing sequentially. There's one of those helicopters. They will be in the neighborhood of the uh, Soyuz capsule momentarily to begin first uh, to uh, erect an inflatable medical tent and then uh, safe the vehicle before the crew uh, is extracted from the spacecraft. They undocked uh, from the uh, Rosviet module of the International Space Station just over four hours ago at uh, 2.21 a.m. Central Time, 3.21 a.m. Eastern Time. The deorbit burn was executed less than an hour ago in perfect fashion, and all of the entry milestones of module separation, entry interface, and the deployment of the main parachute, as you saw, all of that went uh, as planned. As you see, uh, the uh, parachute uh, still attached to the Soyuz MS-19 and several of the uh, Russian Mi-8 helicopters nearby to begin uh, the process of safing the vehicle and extracting the crew. We expect, uh, as is normally the case, uh, for the video to uh, be discontinued for a short period of time so that the uh, TV truck repositions itself by the spacecraft at which point uh, we will regain video from the landing site.
This is Mission Control Houston, uh, continuing uh, to receive video from the landing site in Kazakhstan some five minutes after the touchdown of Soyuz MS-19, about 90 miles to the southeast of the remote town of Jezkazgan, two hours and 20 minutes before sunset there. Russian Mi-8 helicopters uh, have uh, continued uh, the process of landing in the neighborhood of the spacecraft. Other support personnel in all-terrain vehicles are uh, moving up to the uh, spacecraft to begin erecting an inflatable medical tent uh, within which uh, the crew will be brought uh, after a short time outside of uh, the Soyuz to uh, get out of their Sokol launch and entry suits and into more comfortable flight clothing as well as uh, to undergo initial medical testing before they board those helicopters for a two-hour flight back to the staging city of Karaganda to the northeast, where the crew ultimately will split up several hours from now. Mark Vandehei boarding a NASA jet to return to Houston. Anton Shkaplerov and Pyotr Dubrov boarding a Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center aircraft headed for their training base at Star City, Russia, outside of Moscow. Station on two, the connectivity readings for the aft suit are point zero four, and for the forward suit, point zero three. Okay, Roger, we copy. This is Mission Control Houston uh, receiving word from the Search and Recovery Forces that the Soyuz uh, landed and uh, was pulled over by uh, the wind. Well, that is uh, not unusual. So the Soyuz is on its side, and the Search uh, and Recovery uh, personnel are beginning the process of uh, safing the vehicle. The Soyuz on its side. <laughs> 